Hey, this is Josh, and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to make a quick video on how to slow down an audio track in Logic while maintaining its pitch. Um, so if you're anything like me, you'll hear a guitar lick and you'll think, man, I want to learn that, but I need to slow it down so that I can hear every single note. Well, Logic has a feature that makes this very simple, so I'm going to walk you through how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new audio track. In so next step, I'm going to take this track I have over here. It's a Charlie Daniels track I got off of iTunes, and I'm going to drag it into my project. From here, it's the first, basically the five bars that I want to learn. So I'm going to turn on my cycle repeater, and I'll let you hear what that riff sounds like. <laughs> Basically that cycle repeater will repeat it over and over and over, but let's say it's just too fast and I'm having a hard time learning it and I want to slow it down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my playhead and I'm going to end it, uh, put it at the end of the lick that I'm wanting to learn. Then on my keyboard I'm going to hit Command T to trim the track. So now I've got this little baby track of the riff that I want to learn. Next step, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to duplicate this track. It's going to create another track exactly like this one up here down below. From here, I'm going to click on that baby track again. I'm going to hit Command C and then Command V. It's going to paste that baby track in my empty audio track. From here, I don't really need this uh, anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and click the M to mute it. And I'm going to move my cycle over here. So this is where we're going to slow it down and keep the pitch. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click this button. This is for your flex time. All right, so this enables flex time for the, your entire project. And once that's enabled, then I'm going to come down to my audio 2 track and I'm going to enable it in the track itself. It's going to take some time to analyze the track. Now there's a lot that you can do with flex time. There's tons of videos online showing you the different features that you can do with pitch correction and all that stuff, but we're not going to learn about that today. We're just going to learn how to slow this thing down. Uh, once it's analyzed the track, we're going to put the mouse in the upper left hand corner and all I have to do is click and drag to stretch that track out. I'll go ahead and stretch out my cycle repeater. Now if I play it, you can tell it's slowed down. Let's say that's still too fast. I want to slow it down a little bit more. Stretch those both out. Now it's even slower. And if you notice, it hasn't actually lost its pitch. If I play the original track, versus the new track, it's got the same exact pitch. So you can learn it slowly, and you can move the track a little bit faster. Learn it at this speed, move the track a little bit faster. Before you know it, you've got the lick learned in real time. If you want to get really good, well, why don't we make it even faster? What's that sound like? <laughs> Might not hurt to learn it like that. Sometimes your drummer types in the wrong tempo and you've got to play it at you know, 180 instead of 160. Um, you'll notice the audio quality isn't perfect on this. There's maybe some transient ghosts hanging around. But for the most part, it's, it's really good quality. Um, and definitely uh, good enough that you can learn the guitar lick. So, that's all I've got. If you've got any questions on how to do this, feel free to comment below. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, and keep on practicing.